So let's talk about how a brushless alternator works. The rotor looks like this, okay. This is where the excitation comes in from the stator. Now the stator excitation winding looks like this. So the conduction, the magnetic conduction is through these two rings, okay. So it sits in there like that. All right. Now what happens is in between here the primary and the secondary you have a rectifier which on this resolver rotor is obviously not there but you have a rectifier so the current flowing through this rotor here is DC okay what then happens is in here is your secondaries this is where your power generation takes place all right so there's your th either one winding in the case of a single phase alternator or in the modern day alternators you have your three windings it's a three phase alternator in this case there's two windings it's a two phase secondary all right so if i were to intercept what's coming out of here going to there with a rectifier and i put it in here and spin it all right like that obviously you'd have this ring over it this would work as an alternator so the inside of an alternator that's what it looks like on a brushless alternator on a non-brushed alternator these are slip rings all right so you've got brushes making contact you've got two slip rings you can sometimes have more than that on bigger ones high powered ones it can be three or four slip rings but here's two slip rings your brush is making contact on the side the DC being applied and powering this magnet over here your rotating magnetic field all right so in the case of a brush this one it's AC because you it's got to work as a transformer and then you have a rectifier to make a DC same as you'd have with a slip ring alternator all right that's it gonna wrap it up thanks for watching ladies and gentlemen Hope you enjoyed this quick little talk about alternators. Learned something, saw something. Take care. Have an awesome day further. See you next time for more fun stuff. Bye.